Well, I'm Chief Meteorologist Amber Sellins, live at St. Vincent de Paul. We're going in depth on our extreme hum summer heat and the resources available for those on our streets. Tonight, in our Impact Earth Heat Special, we're taking a look at efforts to help cool our city. We'll be breaking down the number of heat related deaths our state has seen over the years. And we've got some tips to help keep you hydrated during these summer months. Of course, we're all going to need those to make it through another hot summer here in the hottest city in the country. And as our climate gets hotter and hotter, ABC 15 political reporter Mark Phillips learned new technologies and more trees may be the key to cooling us down. Once a month, Ernie, a retired cop from Washington State, comes searching for treasure in Cesar Chavez Park. What'd you find? Order. Ernie said he moved to Phoenix because of the heat, but he admits it's not for everyone. It does get hot for some of these people, and I've seen a lot of people boom, go over. Not a pretty sight. According to the Maricopa County Health Department, there's been a 400% increase in heat-related deaths since 2014. 323 people died from heat in Phoenix in 2020, making it the hottest, driest, and deadliest summer on record. 53 days of 110 degrees or higher. When it comes to the heat, not all neighborhoods are created equally. Take South Phoenix. A combination of heat absorbing roofs, streets, and the lack of trees make this one of the hottest places in town. This is a heat equity story that we are working to change. Dave Hondala is Phoenix's heat czar, in charge of a four person team, the first ever created by a U.S. city whose mission is to lower the heat. And we're trying to think about the long term strategies that can cool the city and make it more comfortable, and the short term strategies that protect people when it's hot. There are more than 4,800 miles of public streets in Phoenix, and when the temperature reaches 110, the heat coming off the pavement can reach 130 degrees. After a successful test run in some neighborhoods last year, the city launched its Cool Streets program this summer. 40 to 50 miles of neighborhood roads across the city are being resurfaced with reflected material. Thus, the road doesn't heat up. It doesn't re-emit that heat into the atmosphere. Keep warm. We get that solar energy out of the system right away. And we've seen really promising results so far. The road surface itself, 10, 11, 12 degrees Fahrenheit cooler. Phoenix is also working with the nonprofit American Forest to plant trees throughout the city. This spring, 200 ash and evergreens were planted alongside Baseline Road around the Cesar Chavez Library. Next week, the City Council will decide if it will use American Rescue Plan Act funds to finance tree plantings in 25 Phoenix communities. Create a, a city of the future that's cooler and more comfortable for everyone. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona. All right, thank you, Mark. Well, of course, we know triple digit heat is just part of life here in the desert, but we're, of course, looking at those wonderful solutions to kind of take the edge off a bit. We tend to see about three to four months every year of triple digit heat. And as our climate changes, we're actually seeing more 100 degree days. You're looking at data from Climate Central. It shows we're averaging 15 more triple digit days a year now than we did back in the 1970s.